how to do inverse operations for multiplication and division. Inverse means opposite. The opposite of multiplication is division, and the opposite or the inverse of division is multiplication. Something times 9 equals 27. So we use inverse operations for questions like this, where we have an answer, and our number sentence is incomplete. We have something that we don't know. And in this example, it's the first number that we multiplied by. So how many nines are there in 27? That's the inverse we're going to do. Instead, of, we're going to do 27 divided by 9, which will tell us the answer. And there are three nines in 27, 9, 18, 27. So the answer is 3. Let's say the question was the other way round. 3 times what is 27? It's exactly the same method we'd do. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So whether the, uh, the number that we don't know is first in the number sentence or second in the number sentence, for multiplication we're still going to do the inverse, we're going to do division. And that's because it doesn't matter which way round these numbers are, 3 or 9 first, or 9 or 3 you're going to get the answer 27. Let's have a look at division. So we've got something divided by 8 equals 3. For this question, the number here is going to be the large number, because we're dividing a large number by 8 and give an answer of 3. So if we're going to make a large number here, we need to do the inverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 8 times 3. 8, 16, 24. And we can check 24 divided by 8 is 3. 8, 16, 24, that's three groups. Yes, so that works. So when we have a division question, if the number that we don't know in our number sentence is first, we're going to do the inverse. However, if our number that we don't know is second in our division number sentence, we're not going to do the inverse. We're just going to do 24 divided by 8 is 3. So that's a really important thing to know about division, is that because the order of the numbers matters, 24 divided by 8 is not the same as 8 divided by 24. When our number is first that we don't know we do multiply but when our number that we don't know is second we don't do the inverse we do 24 divided by 8 is 3. If we did multiply it wouldn't make sense because it give us a big number here which wouldn't work. So let's just recap. Inverse operations for multiplying number sentences where we have the answer but part of the number sentence is missing if the number missing is first, or if the number is missing is second, it's always divide. However, with division questions, we only do the inverse if the missing number in our number sentence is first, because this will be the biggest number, so we do 8 times 3. However, if the missing number is the second number in the division number sentence, we do not multiply, we do not do the inverse, we do 24 divided by 8, so where the missing number is second, it's not an inverse question, we just do divide. Be careful of questions like this, where you are given something like this, 3 times 6, and they've written the, the number sentence on the right of the equal sign. This is not an inverse question. It's just a case of writing the number sentence on the right, because remember that number sentences can be written on the left and the answer on the right, or vice versa. So, so 6 times 3 or 3 times 6 is 18 can equally be written like that or like that. Uh, another example would be a division 1, for example, where we have um, 28 divided by 7 is just is 4 which is the same as writing it this way round. 
So they aren't inverse questions, but sometimes people get confused with those. Very final recap. Multiplication. Unknown is first, or the unknown is second, the number we don't know is first or second. We take our answer and we divide. Same whether it's first or second, we do the inverse. On division questions, if the unknown is first, we do an inverse operation where we did 8 times 3 here is 24. But where the unknown is second, the number we don't know is second in our division number second sentence, we don't do the inverse. We take this first number here, we divide it by the answer to give us our missing number that goes there.